Hello. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Cool AG Doll Stuff, and today we have a new Iris doll. So, as you may have seen my other videos before on these, these are very interesting. These are a modified Romina, so they are a lot like are a lot like Romina dolls, but they are not exactly like Romina dolls. So the thing that makes them different is that they have a soft body and it is non-posable. They have the floppy arms and floppy legs. So like I said, up here is cloth, up here on the leg is cloth. So like I said, they are mostly, they are a lot, they have three quarter limbs and the rest is all cloth. So, and she does have open and closed eyes like a regular Romina would. And she has rooted hair. As you can see, her hair is rooted to her head. And it is styled in kind of these half up, half down pigtail style. She has a very cute style. She has a little bit of bangs. Very cute, like side bangs. Or maybe they're supposed to be full bangs. It's hard to tell, but she has like these little... I think they're like side bangs, but interesting hairstyle to her. I don't think they've made an American Girl doll with this hairstyle before. I don't think so, but she's very cute. As you can see, this is her original dress, I believe. It has all these, it is like a cream color, and it has all these pink flowers on it, and it has like some green stems on it too, and a couple of pink bows. And then there's some some frills at the top here. They're kind of like these lacy frills at the top here. Very cute. The dress is very cute. It should say goats somewhere on it. Not sure if I can find if it does or not. But it should be an official goat's dress. It looks like it. It looks like it's a goat's dress. Um, these dolls were made in 1993. So they are the same age as I am. Which is crazy. So she does not come with any shoes. She is missing her original shoes and socks. And I'm not sure if she came with underwear or not. But she does not have any. Um, that is okay with me. Um, I'm not really a huge. Um, huge worrier about the underwear and socks and stuff. And the shoes. I can probably find some shoes for her. Um, she does have the same size feet as in a regular American girl. So I can probably find some shoes for her. As you can see, her hands are kind of like a more chubbier, like baby hands, you know? But she's cute. She's a very cute little doll. So what I like about these is that they're very cute, and they're very affordable dolls. Like, the Iris dolls are very affordable as far as Romina's go. Um, they're probably the most affordable version of the Romina that you can get. Um, if you're looking for a Romina, an Iris... An iris version of a Romina is actually a very affordable alternative. Um, as far as most expensive version of the Romina that you can get is a Somina. That's the white body version of the Romina with the posable limbs. That one is about like anywhere from three to seven thousand dollars, which is really insane um, for the white body version of the Romina, because it looks just like a white body Samantha or Kirsten. It just says goats on the back of it. If you ever come across that, grab it, because it is a very valuable doll. So if you ever come across that, make sure to grab that. But like I said, these dolls, these Iris dolls, um, they're called Iris, is the name of the face mold. They are a modified Romina, so they are similar to the Romina dolls, in the face mold. I actually thought they looked like number four at first, but they were actually made way before number four. Um, well, two years before. So it's possible that number four was modeled after this, but a lot of people just say it's a modified classic mold. It's not exactly like number four. But I actually thought they looked like number four when I first saw them. But yeah, um, if you see my previous videos, I actually thought they looked a lot like number four. Um, I thought they were like a number four prototype, but they're actually a modified Romina. So, that's interesting. I have a lot of these dolls, if you're interested in seeing more of them. And I am interested in getting more of them. 
Um, I believe there's actually a few. There's at least there's at least one I don't have. So I am on the hunt to see if I can get some more of these. I know that there's at least one or two. I think maybe there's two I don't have. I don't know. There's at least one or two I don't have. So I know there's another redhead with bangs, I think. Uh, with short hair and bangs. I don't think I have that one. And I don't think I have the one with... Um, because there's a redhead with bangs and um, blue eyes. I don't have that one. And I think that there's another one with like the curlies. There's a couple with the curly hair. I think there's actually like three I don't have. But <laughs> it's like it's like crazy trying to collect these because you don't know what's really out there with these. Because there's never like a full catalog of what um, is out there with the Iris dolls. So I have no idea how many they actually made. I just know that um, I like them. And this is like my eighth one, I believe. So I like them. And I've been collecting them for a couple years now um, because you can only get like one or two a year. Um, well, they don't come up very often. Like you might get like three a year if you're lucky. So they don't come up very often. So I've been collecting them for a while now. It is 2023. I've been collecting them for at least at least, at least two years. Has it only been two years? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while, but I've been collecting them for at least two years now, and I have eight of them. So I guess they come up every three to four months, maybe, but um, they don't come up very often, considering that you only get like one on the market for every couple months. So they're pretty rare, and it's always a different one, too. So that's why I end up getting more because <laughs> it's always a different doll. Every time they come up, it's always a different version of the doll. So I have to get it. So yeah, and that's kind of my um, introduction to the Iris dolls. If you guys wanted to know more about them, that's what they're all about. And hopefully I will be able to get more in 2023 because this is just the start and I already found one. So we will see if I'm able to get more of them. And I will see you next time. Bye now.